Hey everybody, it's Justin Shackle with Yankees On Demand presented by AT&T. We are getting you set for the final road series of the season for the Yankees. A four-game wraparound weekend set with the Blue Jays up in Toronto. And while it was nice the Yankees were able to win their series against the Rays in Tampa, they could not finish the sweep on Thursday night. And with just 10 games remaining entering Friday night, the Yankees are three games back for the final wild card. After Thursday night's loss to Tampa, Joe Girardi called this weekend series in Toronto undoubtedly the most important series of the season. The Blue Jays are hanging on to a wild card spot, and they were swept in their last meeting with the Yankees earlier this month. In that sweep, Yankee hurlers pitched to a three ERA and allowed just one home run, while their offense combined for five doubles and five home runs. I know we keep saying it, but it keeps making history. Gary Sanchez is the biggest reason why the Yankees are still in the playoff race. He hit his 18th and 19th home runs of the season on Wednesday, becoming the fastest player in history to hit 19 home runs, doing so in 45 games. While Sanchez is in his own company with that feat, how about this? He's the third player in Yankees history to hit at least 19 homers from August 10th through the end of the season, joining Babe Ruth in 1927 and Roger Maris in 1961. Bottom line, Sanchez is the hottest player in baseball at the moment. How the Blue Jays approach facing Sanchez this weekend could be the biggest key to the series. Now, Sanchez hasn't been the only Yankee that's come alive lately. Billy Butler has hit 444 in his first six games in pinstripes. Mason Williams is hitting 389 in the seven games since he's been called up. And while Joe Girardi says he wants to ease Aaron Hickson slowly, his outfielder has three hits in two games since returning from the disabled list. That's after he hit 280 in the month of August. These players and others need to outslug the Blue Jays, essentially beating them at their own game. In the series opener, Brian Mitchell will take the ball against Francisco Liriano. Mitchell's given up eight earned runs over his last two starts combined and hasn't induced too many ground balls in recent outings, like the way he did in his season debut against the Jays on September the 7th, when he forced 10 ground outs over five scoreless innings to pick up his first big league win. We'll see if Mitchell's familiarity with the Toronto lineup can get the Yankees off to a solid start in the series. In the second game, CC Sabathia will head to the mound against Toronto's Marcus Stroman. Sabathia took a no decision in his last start, allowing four runs on eight hits in five plus innings at Fenway Park. The lefties finished strong in 2016, pitching to a 3.09 ERA with 32 strikeouts in 35 innings over his last six starts. He'll try to keep that going in his last two starts and bounce back from the loss in Boston. For game three, Michael Pineda will start opposite Marco Estrada. Pinedo was actually the stopper in ending the Yankees' four-game skid in Tampa. He allowed two runs and fanned 11 over five and a third. It was the 12th game of the season in which Pinedo recorded at least eight strikeouts, the most by a Yankees right-hander since Mike Messina in 2003. But Pinedo remains winless in his last eight starts, dating back to August the 5th. It could happen against Toronto. In two starts against the Jays this season, Pinedo owns a 1.64 earned run average. Game four was supposed to be Masahiro Tanaka, but on Thursday, the Yankees announced the right-hander will miss Monday's start with a right forearm injury. Joe Girardi is hopeful Tanaka will make his final start of the season against the Orioles next weekend. Keep an eye out for an announcement for game four starter over the weekend. This is it, another chance for the Yankees to play their way into the final wildcard spot. Taking two out of three or a full sweep of Toronto is what the Yankees need to do at this point. It would ensure an exciting final homestand for the last week of the regular season. For Yankees On Demand, presented by AT&T, I'm Justin Shackle. You can see more Yankees On Demand and Yankee scoreboard content by clicking here. And you can subscribe to our YouTube channel right there.